So a couple of months ago, I made a review about the MX Master 3, but my experience with it wasn't the best. I had a couple of issues which really made me think like this mouse wasn't worth the money. But since then a lot has changed. Now I've been using it with the new software and I was able to fix the biggest issue I had with it, which I will be talking about just in a bit. But first, let's talk about ergonomics. I think that the bottom placements on this mouse are great and super intuitive to use, but there is one button that doesn't work that well, and that is the horizontal scrolling wheel. I talked about this on my first review and I thought that maybe the problem was me, maybe I needed more time with the mouse, but even after using it for 6 months, my opinion didn't change one bit. I still think that the horizontal scrolling wheel is just not good enough, something just doesn't feel quite right when I'm using it. It feels like I have to work extra hard to make it work. From my experience, I think that the horizontal scrolling wheel should be a bit bigger and with the same technology as the main scrolling wheel. I think if they made those improvements, it would make it so much better to operate. But now, let's talk about the new software. When you have a mouse with this level of customization, you need to have a reliable software to pair with it. And unfortunately, the old software didn't work that well for me. I was having issues where the software would take a bit of time to load and sometimes it would not recognize my mouse at all. And it was quite frustrating, because if the software is not working, it means that I'm not able to use my custom buttons. And that sucks. But now that I've been using the new software for 6 months, I can say that it performs better than the old one. So far, I had no problems at all. The software recognizes my mouse and keyboard every time, so no complaints there. And when it comes to loading times, it feels better than before. But in any case, I will do a quick test to show you how long it takes for the software to load when I turn on the computer. It takes around 18 seconds for me to be able to use my custom buttons, which if I'm being honest is not that great, I wish it was a bit faster. Now let's talk about the biggest issue I had with this mouse, and that is the scrolling wheel. The main reason why I bought this mouse in the first place was because of the scrolling wheel. I wanted something that was accurate and would allow me to improve my color grading process, but when I first started using the mouse. I noticed that something wasn't quite right, because if I wanted to change a value, let's say, from 0 to 5, it would be really hard to get it right, because the mouse would increase and decrease the values quite randomly. But lucky enough, I was able to find a solution, and all I had to do was to disable this feature called smooth scrolling. Now I ask myself why there isn't a warning anywhere telling users that by enabling this feature it will affect the precision of the scrolling wheel. I really don't understand, but anyway, I'm glad I'm finally able to color grade my videos just the way I imagined. I can increase and decrease the values one by one, which is a dream. So after fixing the biggest issue I had with this mouse and using it for 6 months with the new software, would I recommend it? Well, the answer to that question is yes, I would recommend this mouse, because right now the only thing that I can complain about is the horizontal scrolling wheel, which is a bit hard to use, but apart from that, everything is working really well for me. The software is working, the Bluetooth connection is working, so I'm quite happy with this mouse at the moment. So if you made it until the end of this video, let me know in the comments below by telling me which mouse are you currently using. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.